avid watchers and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, although the cases of coronavirus may be declining in some parts of the world, it doesn't mean things will suddenly go back to the way they were before. One royal biographer believes the royal family will especially be affected by the pandemic and Queen Elizabeth may be forced to abdicate. Even though the monarch has remained dedicated to fulfilling her duties to the throne, the 94-year-old may not be able to continue her work due to the risk of being infected by the virus. The Sun reported that a royal biographer Andrew Morton predicts Queen Elizabeth won't be able to return to work without putting her health in jeopardy. It's terribly sad, but I can't see how the Queen can resume her usual job, he said. The COVID-19 virus isn't going away soon and will be with us for many months, if not years. It will be far too risky for the Queen. She has always loved getting out and meeting people, but she can't take the risk, he added. How can she carry out investors, meet ambassadors, do walkabouts and visit places without meeting people at close range? If she gets the bug, it could be fatal and would put Prince Philip at risk. However, Morton believes Queen Elizabeth could abdicate the throne so her son can rule in her place. Prince Charles is, of course, over 70 himself, but he has had the virus and probably has immunity now. The Queen's speech last month was brilliant and it brought the country together, the author said. To quote Churchill, it was her finest hour, but from now on we are maybe only going to be able to see her on video links. The Queen's address on Friday was inspirational because she served during the war and she lifted spirits because she has authority from her lifetime of experiences. Going forward, Morton believes the royal family will revert back to their old ways and begin to distance themselves from the public. We will have a Zoom monarchy and she will be Her Majesty on the screen. The touchy-feely way of doing things created by Princess Diana has been stopped in its tracks. We will be back to the days of white gloves and distancing, which makes the royals more remote. That is all for today's news. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next video.